You've heard about composites, but what are they? And why do they behave the way they, they seem to behave? You would like to know, when, when would you use a composite instead of a metal, say? Um, well, we look into that in this course. Composites are attractive because they have the stiffness of steel, and yet they are much lower density, maybe one-fifth the density of, of steel. So when you're trying to remove mass from a car, uh, which is important for fuel economy, then composites are an attractive replacement. That part is well known. The part that's not so well known is um, why are they so expensive? Why are they so difficult to, to manufacture? We worry about durability, recycle, or sustainability. You know, these are our concerns with composites that have yet to be worked out. And so we, we want to get to the, to the bottom of this, and we'll try to do that in this course. So the composites we, we studied in this, in this course are a mixture of reinforcement, typically a ceramic reinforcement, in a matrix. The goal, and usually we achieve it, is to attain something that's different and better than either one of these alone. I've been working in the field for 30 years or so. In a sense it's mature, but in a way it's not mature. And so there's a lot of innovation that, that needs to be done, and I'm hoping that the students taking the course will actually be stimulated to, to work on some of these problems. So the class ends up having sort of a, a practical aura to it. And so sometimes students who have been taking all of our theoretical classes take my class and they suddenly are exposed to something that's a little more practical than they have experienced before and they think, wow, I like that. 